Hello, welcome back to the YouTube channel. I am Nick from Australia. Welcome to the Friday Night Football Review for Round 13 of the NRL, where we saw the West Tigers defeat the Penrith Panthers at Leichhardt Oval, 26 points to 6. Obviously, the Panthers didn't have their origin stars there tonight, but, you know, you've got to put the young ones in and have a go, and unfortunately for the Panthers, their winning streak has come to an end, and the West Tigers get a pretty good win over the Panthers. But if you guys are new... To the channel around here, make sure you guys smash that goddamn subscribe button. I guarantee you will not be disappointed and make sure you like the video and leave your thoughts um, in the comment section below on this game tonight between the Tigers and the Panthers. And let's get into it, man. So the first 15 minutes or so was a pretty back and forth game. Both sides were going end to end. And then in the 15th minute, the first try of the game went to the former Panthers junior in Dane Laurie, scoring for the West Tigers there. And... Tigers were up 6-0 early on. A really good start there for the West Tigers. I thought they were playing with a lot of um, fast attack and I thought they were very disciplined early on. And then in the you know in the 23rd minute, the penalty count was 5-3 in favour of Penrith. And, you know, I thought the referee tonight, Grant Atkins, was losing the plot. You know, there was a couple of penalties there, in my opinion. They weren't even penalties. They were just ridiculous. You know, players kept... Falling in, the, falling in the high tackles, and, you know, I thought referee Grant Atkins lost the plot there a bit, but, you know, I'm not surprised. The referees always lose the plot in all these games, you know, when there's a bit of feeling involved and stuff like that, so I thought it was a bit ridiculous, to be honest, the way the, the, way the referee was going the first half an hour or so. And then, um, in the 35th minute, there was a knock on from Penrith, and Jacob Little runs about 90 metres downfield to score a try. Uh, Adam Dewey misses a conversion. Tigers lead 10 points to nil. And then at half time, the West Tigers 10, the Penrith Panthers nil. And the penalty count at half time was Penrith 9 3. I mean, that's just ridiculous. You know, some of those penalties were for discipline and for offside, but some of them, they were just madness. I thought the referee, Grant Atkins, was just. He had no control with the game whatsoever. Players looked a bit frustrated. The crowd was starting to get mad, so. You know, a 9-3 penalty count would have to be the, the biggest... Um, 12 penalties in one half of football would have to be the biggest I've seen all year, I reckon. And, you know, I thought at half-time, Tigers 10-0, I thought they probably should have been up by a bit more. 10-0 is a good lead and all, but the way the Tigers are playing and the amount of possession they had, I thought they should have been up maybe 18, 20-0, but that wasn't to be. And then in the second half, in the 42nd minute, I know try to Hopwood from Penrith... Matt Burton took out Dane Laurie, and uh, no try there to Hopwood. And then in the 47th minute, a bit of a push and shove between James Roberts and Kickow, and then Edwards came involved, and it was a bit of a push and shove. The referee started going off his head, you know, trying to, oh, you got to calm down. I'm going to sin bin you if you don't stop, and all this other crap. But anyway, um, not long after that, there was a try in the 53rd minute to Matt Burton from the Panthers. It was a nothing try. It was sort of... You know, the, the Panthers weren't really going anywhere. And then I think Leilua was a bit flat-footed. And Burton went through and scored. And the Tigers were up 10 points to 6. And I'm going, oh, here we go. The Panthers are coming back, you know. The young players are stepping up without the big-name players, you know. Obviously, they had no Cleary and Luai, Corusio, Yo, Capewell, Martin. So, it was always, always going to be difficult. But I thought the Panthers, they were, they were really good in that game for 55 minutes. They were hanging in there tight. Their attack was a bit poor, but... Defensively, they're holding their own. And then in the 57th minute, there was a penalty to the Tigers. Tigers go for goal. 12-6 West Tigers. And then I, I guess this is where it gets a little bit controversial for some people. Um, Lushani Leilua gets a penalty try. Robert Jennings hits Leilua in the head. He knocks the ball on. Look, everyone's going to have their two cents on this one. Everyone's going to blow up about it. But I don't think... Um, I don't think Robert Jennings intentionally wanted to hit Leilua in the head. He was probably going for the ball. Obviously, he misjudged it. Hit Leilua in the head, knocked the ball on, and obviously, he was already over the try line. So, I mean, yes, it is the old-fashioned penalty try. I think it's the right call, but I don't think Robert Jennings has anything to worry about as in terms of suspension. I think he was going for the ball and misjudged it, you know. You know, if it's an accident on the high tackle, it's always going to be a penalty, so... He was already over the line, and you know it had to be a penalty try. I think it was the right call there. So the Tigers go out to an 18-6 lead, and then 
In the 73rd minute, the Panthers go for a short dropout, and it doesn't go. It goes out in the fall. Tigers take the two points. It's 20 points to six in favour of the West Tigers. Five minutes to go. The game's pretty much all over. And then there was a try to Stefano off the bench. And the Tigers get the win over the Penrith Panthers and the winning streak. 26 points to six down there at Leichhardt Oval. The fans down there at Leichhardt Oval were going mad. They were having a good time. And I hope everyone had a great night down there tonight as well. And I also heard before the end of the game there, I heard the crowd... The Tigers fans giving it to the, um, I'm assuming Ivan Cleary because the, obviously when he left the Tigers to go to the Panthers, it was an ugly situation and Nathan Cleary was out a night for the Panthers on the bench watching the game because obviously he can't play because of Origin next week and the crowd was chanting Cleary's a wanker and it went on for about a minute and I thought it was hilarious. So maybe, maybe we could see a potential rivalry in the future between the Tigers and the Panthers. I don't really see a rivalry between those two sides happening, but if there's a good opportunity for it to happen, I think it would be now, so I'd like to see the Tigers and Panthers uh, become a bit of a rivalry, I, I don't think it will happen though, but I'd like to see it, I think it, it would be good to see, but we'll soon, we'll soon find out what happens there, but the Tigers, you know, I thought they did well to win the game, I thought they were better in the second half, first half they had a 10-0 lead, and then they played a, a bit more football in the second half, in the first half they were all about defence, and you know, for, from the 40th minute to the 60th minute, I thought the Tigers, they were all about defence and, you know, it was all about structure and play. And, you know, w once they um, got that got, got that try to lay low, it sort of freed them up. And I'm like, right, we're up 12 as long as we play safe and smart and, you know, we'll get the job done. And the Tigers did do that. So, well done to the Tigers on beating the Panthers' winning streak. But talking about some of the players tonight who had a good game, we'll start off with the West Tigers players. I thought Luke Garner was outstanding. I thought Lou Shiny Leilua had a good game. Dane Laurie was terrific at fullback. You know, I thought Tommy Talao was outstanding. Dewey was good. Uh, Luke Brooks had a decent game as well. Alex Twell at front row was sensational. Um, Stefano off the bench was very good. And Jacob Little also had a fair game. And for the Panthers, I mean, you know, I thought Matt Burton had a decent game. I thought James Fisher Harris was outstanding. Dylan Edwards wasn't too bad at fullback. Crichton was okay. I thought Viliami Kikau was a little bit poor. I thought he was way off his game tonight. Kikau, I thought he was a bit disappointing. But also, the worst one on the field had to be the halfback for Penrith, Tyrone May. My God, he was awful tonight. He was shocking. He had no idea what he was doing. He had no direction whatsoever. And he was terrible tonight. But good on the West Tigers. They ended the Panthers' winning streak. 26 points to 6. My top three players on ground for tonight. I'm going to go number three, Alex Twell. I thought he was great. Number two, I'm going to go with Luke Garner. I thought he had a good game as well. And number one, my man of the match, I'm going to go with Dane Laurie at fullback. I thought he was outstanding tonight. He gets my man of the match. And the Tigers are in the Panthers winning streak. But guys, if you enjoyed the Friday Night Football Review, make sure you guys go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Guys, thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys tomorrow night. For the Saturday Night Football, football Review between the Melbourne Storm. Make sure you guys go ahead and like, comment and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.